Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to, of course, another fun battle vid. Now, this time is with the brand new uh, OnePlus Buds that have been announced this week, and of course, the Galaxy Buds Plus to find out where they actually stack up. So let's jump right in. Now the OnePlus Buds are the fresh true wireless buds from OnePlus. We've been waiting for these for a while. They're finally here. We've seen some rumors and the device comes in a couple of colors. Now the OnePlus Buds either come in white, uh, of course you've got the, uh, the Nord Blue and you've got a gray variant now just let you guys know if you're in the US, the Nord Blue will not be coming to the US immediately, at least at this time. We know that's just a, a global launch. So we get the white and the gray here in the US. Anyway, that being said though, what you have is something that has a uh, you know peg-like shape in terms of a case. And now the case does give you about 30 hours of battery life and you've got USB Type-C charging you. And this is one of the things that OnePlus has done well with this where normally with most uh, true wireless buds, like even the Galaxy Buds Plus, you do get, um, uh, with 10 minutes of charge, you get about an hour of battery life. Well, with the OnePlus Buds with 10 minutes of charge, because he has warp charging, you get 10 hours of battery life. That is actually truly impressive. So one of the nicest things I like about it is the fact that you've got a lot of juice with that. And the case with the earbuds, I'll have a total of about 30 hours of battery life. So we understand that there. Now, in terms of the fit and the look, well, they've got that similar styling to the original AirPods. So of course this will fit certain people. Uh, they do have touch controls on the side of either, either buds. So you can actually control your music, uh, play the, you know, skip forward or back, that kind of functionality. And uh, it does have support for Adobe Atmos as well uh, through, of course, your device like the OnePlus Nord itself. Now, uh, in terms of uh, some of the functionality as compares to the Galaxy Buds, let's start off, of course, with the first thing, battery life, which I mentioned. So the battery life is 30 hours uh, in total, while the Galaxy Buds are 22 hours, which clearly beats it. And of course, the OnePlus, uh, OnePlus Buds also have that benefit of 10 minutes of charge, giving you 10 hours, 10 hours of usage compared to one hour of usage on the Galaxy Buds. So that's a big win for the OnePlus uh, Buds. Now, the next thing of course is um, fit and use. So with the OnePlus Buds, you've got things, you know, you've got these buds that fit this way. Now, um, when I shake my head, they kind of stay, uh, but they're hanging out really at the edge of my ear um, and it doesn't fall out. But what happens when I use them is when I laugh or I talk a lot, they start sliding off and they don't necessarily fit. For me, these things don't fit well. They never have. This design is just something that doesn't fit well for me and I know for a lot of people. Uh, plus, they also hurt my ears quite a bit after uh, a short period of time. So these are not a pair, a pair that I can wear for a long period of time. Now I know there are people who can wear them for a while, but for me it just doesn't work. In comparison to the Galaxy Buds, which have, you know, of course the soft silicone tips and a much more comfortable fit that allows me to wear this for a longer period of time. So that's just something to, to put. So in terms of fit, the Galaxy Buds definitely went on that uh, direction. Now let's move over, of course, to the microphones. You've got microphones built into these. And I have to say though, both of them do a really good job with their microphones. The the OnePlus Buds uh, have some really solid mics so you can have good phone calls. That part is actually pretty good uh, and in comparison to the Galaxy Buds Plus, it's pretty close. I would give the edge to the Galaxy Buds Plus, especially with just the noise cancelling mics, but overall I think both of them are good right there with the microphones. Now of course the big kicker as well is of course audio. How good do they sound? So in comparison the OnePlus Buds are have a lot of bass. Uh, if you're bass friendly, you like that, that's really nice. But because these do not fit entirely into my ear, um, I lose a lot of the sound, I lose a lot of the depth of the music. So of course, my highs don't reach as much. Uh, the, you know, it can get loud, which is, which is nice, but I don't get a lot of the sound reverberation from this in terms of audio quality. Now, in comparison with the Galaxy Buds, uh, Galaxy Buds do a really good job, we know that quite well. The fit, of course, gives you some really good 
passive isolation as well uh, with this. So you get a lot of the audio coming in. The highs are good, the mids are good, the, the lows are of course a little lower because this doesn't really push up as much bass. But of course you do have the app to tune in the EQs for you here. Now, um, you know, in terms of just little extras you have here is that, you know, the Galaxy Buds has wireless charging, uh, but of course there's difference in price. The Galaxy Buds, they are priced at about 139. You can get them cheaper, about 116. I've seen recently on Amazon. The OnePlus Buds are $79, so they are much cheaper alternative. Um, and yeah, if I were to go ahead and pick a winner, I still will go with the Galaxy Buds. But here's the thing though, I think OnePlus has done a really good job with the OnePlus Buds in terms of pricing and where it stands. Now, for me, the fit just does not work because they hurt my ears and they don't stay in as much. So I really have to force them in to make sure that they stay and it starts hurting, you know, that kind of thing. Um, um, but in terms of audio quality, it's good. Um, in terms of the microphone, it's really solid there. Battery life is pretty good at 30 hours and also that quick charging capability of giving you 10 minutes of charge to 10 hours of play time also shows. Now, I would love to see improvements from OnePlus. Change the design, please. I think this is pretty old. I'm not sure why brands still do this and use this design, uh, but Please change the design. Also, uh, maybe add uh, an application so we can customize the audio as well, but it's a very good first start. And if you're looking to pick up um, something cheaper, uh, the OnePlus Buds might be for you. And again, if this design fits you in your ears, you have no issues then, by all means, go for it. So anyway, guys, there you have it, guys. That is the OnePlus Buds versus the Galaxy Buds Plus. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.